The inviting blue swimming pool below the green terrace provokes the curiosity of many a visitor to Dumbart Noakes. Its serene, alluring surface makes it easy to overlook the art and history that graces its edges. When the Blisses bought the estate, this area behind the house was a stable yard and a manure pit just north of the barn on the green terrace. They hired the architect Frederick Brook to turn it into a swimming pool and bathhouse, and later enlisted the architecture firm McKim Mead and White to redesign the bathhouse with a loggia and arcade. They hosted many a party, complete with lap races in this pool, which was once much deeper. The painter Alan Cox created fresco-like paintings on canvas for the walls and ceilings of the loggia. They depicted the myth of the hunter Actaeon, who accidentally saw the goddess Artemis bathing naked. In revenge, she transformed him into a stag and had her hounds tear him to bits. Cox's original canvases began to deteriorate in the 1940s, so they were removed and later partly reproduced as mosaic panels, which still hang on the loge's walls. By the north gate of the pool, a stanza of poetry is inscribed on the low wall. It was written by Joseph Auslander, the first American poet laureate who was a close friend of the Blisses. Like the flash of a wing, I came upon the loveliest thing since Avalon. White blossoming azaleas, wan as a wounded king, as a dying swan. <laughs>